Hi, I'm Abe from Dynamic Ratings, and I'm part of the technical support team here at DR, and today I'll be showing how to do BAU checks on your BAU sensors for your bushing health monitor. In order to perform these checks, you will need an optional DR BAU tester, a BAU sensor, a digital multimeter, as well as a proper PPE for the job, including coated ANSI level two rated gloves and minimally exposed tips for your digital multimeter. To start the checks, we like to start with the BAE sensor itself if you have safe access to it. First start by putting on your proper PVE. Then begin physical inspection of the BAE sensor. You can start by checking the connection of the center pin of the sensor to ensure a tight connection to the BAE body. This can be tightened with either a Phillips head screwdriver or an Allen key depending on the BAE type. Also check the resiliency of the O-ring to make sure that it's resilient and shows no signs of cracking or drying or any signs of ingress moisture. Once these physical checks are complete, I would then use your digital multimeter to check the resistance of the sensor at the sensor itself. Begin by setting your digital multimeter to the resistance mode. Then, using your red lead, place it on the center pin of the BAU sensor and your black lead on the BAU body. Ensure you're getting a measurement greater than 10 mega ohms, ideally an open circuit, otherwise the sensor will need to be replaced. Then you can measure resistance at the end of the coax. Begin by placing your red lead on your center conductor of the coax and your black lead on the shield. You should also see a resistance greater than 10 mega ohms, ideally an open circuit. If you do not see this, your sensor may need to be replaced. After those checks are complete, you'll then terminate your BAU back at your respective terminal block. Um, it's always good to perform a tug test on each BAU to make sure that it's properly terminated, nice and tight. Um, before performing the test with the BAU tester, it's also good to make sure that your blocks are not shorted. So this means that the orange position is down. For the newer shorting block, it means that the block is plugged in properly. Um, and then from there, you will remove the connector from the BHM itself. Once you have your DRBIU tester all set up, you'll take your red test lead and place it on the left side, which will be where the center conductor is. And you'll take your black lead and place it on the right shorting block which is where your shield is. Then you'll ensure that your digital multimeter is set to voltage AC mode. And then press the button on your DRBIU tester and ensure a voltage between 18 and 20 volts AC. Otherwise your sensor may need to be replaced. Lastly, for post energization testing, you can measure the voltage AC across the blocks from center conductor to shield to look for one to three volts AC. You place your red lead on the center conductor and your black lead on the shield and look for a measurement between one and three volts AC. And those are the checks for proper operation of a BAU sensor. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on our channel. Also be sure to check out our new customer portal for more information on DR products. Thanks again.